What's up guys, so Fickle Thunder Reactor here back at it again with another reaction video. Today is going to be a quadruple reaction from Top 15Z. Has been a bit since I've seen this Drivehead fans videos, but I am back. We're starting off today with the fourth meme compilation of funny moments and glitches. I cannot wait to laugh my butt, up, butt off at this first video. This first video is going to be pretty funny as you would guess. And by the way, link will be in the description for Top 15Z's channel if you have not checked it out already. And, uh, what was I about to say? The rest, the next videos, actually, yeah, the next videos will be the One will be, uh, well, the next one, the next one right after this will be a car tier, or will be another car tier list. And, and the last two will be, uh, leaks about stuff. And, and I can't wait to see what driving stuff he has put together for us. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just dive right in. See what we have. Uh, wait for it. Bib led to blob. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa! What? Actually, I think I've seen this happen. If you use, like, that one secret car. Okay, what pro gamer move is that? Whoa! Okay, that's... That was... That was a pro gamer move. Ooh, we have Chinese New Year. Whoa. Oh, I've had this happen to me when I was playing uh, Battle Arena. Where just two of your same cars just do stuff. Okay, we got... Whoa! Okay, yeah, I've seen that happen too. <laughs> the Darren Launcher Ghost just says those things to Cosmic. Okay. Oh, man. Goodness me. I remember that map. Was it like the Spider Park Attack? Oh, what the... Oh, Soccer Monster. Oh, oh, geez. Top 10 cars have disappointed me. What's that? Bubble Matic? That's always car. Oh. Pfft. Wow, is that really it? Well, this was quite funny. <laughs> Alright. Well, team purchase stuff. Alright, give box secret cars to your yeah, list. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a tier list on all the secret cars that you can get from the gift box and yeah. drive ahead. First thing we have here is... The Mantis Loud Shrimp. I don't really know the names of these cars, by the way. Uh, Mini Tentacle. Yeah, I'm gonna do a really if you're having top trouble, top 15 Z. Yeah, obviously, really bad protection. It speeds all right. Hang on, check out my video. It's called yeah, Gift Box Lamb. The dog sled with like one or two dogs in the dog sled. Um, this is just like a huge nerf to the dog sled, and yeah, it just makes it really bad. Yeah, one dog in the I dog agree. Sled is like really, really bad, but two is all right. Like, it's manageable. Yeah. Next up is the flying UFO. Well, flying UFO, say, duh. Um, if you didn't know, it just flies upwards all the time. I don't know how yes. to stop it. Okay, I'm really bad with um, flying car controls, so I have no idea how to control this thing. But yeah, um, it's only good for open maps and King of the Hill if you want to camp. Other than that, it's completely trash. Yeah. Next up is the ice shrimp carrier, quote unquote. I don't know the name, obviously. I don't know that thing yeah, either, but Rift Gem Bomber is what I call it. Rift Cloud Shrimp. Um, extra ice back protection. Also, it has a special ability of breaking through the fourth wall and somehow carrying the ice along to the next match. Yeah. Next up is the Midget T-Rex. That's right, you can get this from a gift box. Yeah, it's called, actually yeah, called Mechasaurus. Uh, really like I said, if you are having trouble with these names, stop yeah, to see, check out my them. videos, my this gift box man here videos. Here is really. biplane. Yes. Uh, yeah, this car is a complete disgrace. We all saw the leaks of this car in a gorilla map. Yes. Hot Wheels 2018. Why is it an F tier though? This car could be the first actual flying vehicle in Drive Ahead, but we were really, really wrong, as you can see. Well, as it's in the game. Okay, D tier. What do we have? We have the Rift Annihilator. I think that's the name of this car. What? And yeah, it has really. Oh, is it really called Rift Annihilator? I gotta change the description. God dang, okay. Alright. Yes, you can. Oh, Doom Raptor, that's actually way more related for that. Body. Um, yeah, I think it's faster than a Doombot and more stable, which is good. 
Cool. Yes. Again, it's a Doom bot, and Doom bots are very chaotic and hard to um, control. Yeah. Last in the D tier is the Flying Bat Eye, and as red, you can actually um, not manually aim, but you can get some kind of auto aim with the lasers, which is pretty good. Is it? Next up is or the can C -tier. you? And in the C -tier, right. Well, you have C tier. Have Hang on. The Rift Pew Pew Cloud. I have no idea what the name is. But that's Rift the Shard Launcher. I call that thing. Hang on, guys. Ready, Gotta do some stuff. Dial, All right, so C tier, yeah, that's one. That one's pretty good. It's front, it's I don't know why red it's has the abilities. That awesome ability. Last in the C tier Here. is the spider heater. I know. Really spider heater. Okay, I get. Yeah, I get why. Is, it just eats opponents in the air. But yeah, I call it the Zabdor abdomen. Um, I'm thinking that's a fitting name for it. Really Whoa. That's being wasted. The next tier is the B tier. And okay, what do we have for the B tier? The mega laser bot. And Dual bouncy laser tank. Really, really slow, but as red, you get some extra perks, including um, more than one hit. Oh, hang on, I pressed the wrong one. Crazy already. Yeah, so more than one hit. You lasers. more than one hit, which so is also. Is the Ankylosaurus. Mm -hmm. This car is actually really good. First of all, it has some really OP wheels, which oh, does it? Go really fast. It also has okay. really good back protection, and front protection can easily be fixed with a wheelie. Yeah. Next tier is A tier. And All right, A tier is probably gonna be the like giant vehicles. Giant steel crab. Yes. You guys already know this car. He's in the missions. You know, first of all, really, really good protection. Super annoying. It has four wheels. Yeah, it's just really. Yeah, good. of course. Next up is the dog sled with five to seven dogs. Really. No, okay. I think it's, it's only really six. Protection. Yeah, you can. Can it be more than six? Basically anything. Next up is the Mega Go Kart. First yes. Of all, this is like one of the fastest. Oh, is it like now? It's really freaking big, but it's still really fast. Dang, okay. Is Just for its so size, it's fast. Head, it's still really, really good. Okay. Next up is the Giant, Giant Rocket, Rocket Fist. Slay. Doesn't have the ability. Wait, what, do you, what did you just say, Slay? Really, really is it the fist? Next up is the Giant Rocket Slay. Doesn't oh my have gosh, top 15. The boosters, it can literally fly. Next okay. Up is the beast monster. It's basically Be beast, a beast monster. Okay. Monster wheels and yeah, the beast radio has a crazy engine. It just makes it a lot better. Okay. As a quick note, the beast isn't really that good at all, but the monster wheels just make it so much better. Yes. The original wheels of the beast are just really, really bad. The final tier. Okay. Is okay. S tier. I'm sorry. I thought it was. Yes, tier. We have the soccer ball car. Yeah, that's that's just yeah, OP. You can't kill it without. Saws or um, Ghost Dragon Fire. Anything oh, you can you use it. Okay. Car. Face, yeah. You need something to face through the car in order Basically, to defeat it. Car is invincible, and yeah, that's why it's in the S tier. Yes. Next in the S tier is Krampus, and Krampus specifically stay. Red Krampus because Red always gets like special perks sometimes because Red is also the bot color, I guess. Yeah. The shield after you get hit in the head once, and you basically you, you, have that shield for the entire game. Yeah, you're basically just invincible. Not even water. I tried on King of the Hill, it was just chaotic. Next up is the Mega Robo Penguin, and yeah, as you can see, yeah, I call it Ember Penguin Robot. Yeah, I was not expecting this car like at all. Extremely heavy and basically can't be pushed off. Also, it has a crazy giant saw. Also, as red, you get a special perk where you go through certain phases before you actually die. Makes it yeah. Better. I think the phases are that you start like cracking a bit, and after you crack, you just turn into a head, and that head just. That's right. I remember fighting the Emperor Penguin for the first, first time. Boss battle, and I love it. The last car in the S tier Here is, is the, the Mega, mega monster. monster. This might be one of the best cars in the game. Yes. Into a mega car. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, not that fast, but it does have a really good high advantage. Also, its production is really, really good. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end okay. of the video. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and like this video. See you guys later. All right. Well, that was a great tiering top 15 Z. Oh my goodness, hefty dude. We're back to another video. Dude. We're gonna be going over everything in the new dev stream that was released. Just oh yeah, dev stream. Uh, let's see. Drive ahead to update 2.5 leaks. Rift leader, Rift Riders leaderboard, new power ups. New update. Yes. We're gonna go over all the patch notes and leaks that were shared. The okay. Post, Ooh. The what is this? Two remaining, two remaining boss spawn. Yeah. Aerial abomination and tentacle terror. Regression and difficulty curve in the riders. Hey, let me go and read that really quick. Completely new. And by the way, I did try it out. 
And it was quite well done. Uh, completely new crazy power-ups. Did not get to see all of them. Uh, new power-up selection, choices that matter. Sure, in Rift Riders, I've seen a couple of top VDTs playthroughs, and it was just great. Uh, brand new leaderboards for Rift Riders. Great community links added in-game, and new surprise car containers and boxes. No, only three bosses are actually in Rift Riders right now. Uh, they're gonna have the remaining two, which is Tentacle Terror and Aerial Abomination. Yes. Speaking of Rift Riders, there's also gonna be a new progression system and a difficulty curve in Rift Riders. It's kind of hard to explain, but let's just say you use a level 9 card in Rift Riders. That'll get you to raise level 9. Okay. The thing I don't understand is how that'll work with teams. So I'm guessing it's just average team levels. Okay, dokes. First of all, it's gonna increase your rewards a lot more. It'll make Rift Riders faster. And it also make it important to upgrade your cars. Hopefully you have level 9 cars. Okay. You should um, after the new battle arena stuff. The next thing on our list is new power-ups. Mm-hmm. There are going to be five new power-ups. Oh, five, five new characters. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look. Super Collider, Push Mechanic, Jelly Shock, Jelly Shock card type, not back. Okay. Glass Saws. Uh, saws in expense of your health. Okay. Tire Hook, remove... Tires for enemies and Penguin Assassin kills enemies that have lost some HP. First one's called Super Collider. This is a push mechanic. Okay. Like a shock. ram. This one is obviously the Jelly Shock. And the saw with, with the down HP. The tire hook and Jelly saws. Shock. This one gives you saws, but you lose health. The fourth one's called a Tire Hook. This removes tires from the opponent mm -hmm. using some kind of harpoon. The last one's called Penguin Assassin. Limits for this one, but this one kills enemies that have lost some HP. Also, comment down below your favorite power up. Mine is probably gonna be the Penguin Assassin. It looks, um, well, not looks, but it sounds pretty cool. Also, you have the option to select these power ups in okay. Rift Riders during the match. So, I think yes. it's gonna like stop the match for a second if you get to a certain rage level and say, like, you want this power up or this power up. Ex that's so exactly what happened. Options. You gotta pick which scene, which one you want. This is obviously gonna be a big nerf to the um, the Rift Rider system. Yeah, you won't get a max health when you actually like need it the most. Also, we have a mm -hmm. brand new leaderboard. Just yes, for Rift Riders. From what that's I can gonna see, be pretty fun. Ooh, I never saw the leaderboard at itself. There that looks is awesome. A leaderboard for a total score and one also for a high score in Rift Riders. Mm -hmm. For more skilled people who are wasting. Last tickets and are just better at the game. Okay, this is a okay. Big step for online features in the game because currently all we had was leaderboards. Well, this is still a leaderboard, but it's a different leaderboard. Um, this could definitely add on to like a friends list or clubs. It's definitely possible. I just said they need to do it. Okay. Before we continue, we definitely need replays for Android. Yes. It's been a really long time, and iOS is dominating with their. Replays yes, my goodness. Replays have Ashtar. been a thing ever since, yeah, dude. Need a, um, they need a return to Android. Anyways, the next feature, which what you guys probably care about a lot if you're watching this video, is community features. Um, basically just links to um, DriveAhead's community links, including the Discord, which you should join. Link will be in the description. Should yeah. Should subscribe to link in the description. Awesome. Facebook, and yeah. Community links, awesome. Uh, you good, Top? Was it gone silent? And finally, the last oh. thing on our list is new surprise containers and boxes. Mm -hmm. Basically, there's gonna be boxes for like every theme, I think. Yes. I know of are the dinosaur Those and look awesome. Alien themed boxes, and with these boxes that you buy with gems, you can get those rewards from those specific themes. Well, those are all the leaks. Sweet. Probably this update should be coming out probably on Wednesday. I'm not 100 sure, but it's definitely gonna come out sometime next week. Yes. Like video, it did come, and it was pretty below. good. And yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye. All right. And last video we have, folks, is oh my gosh, not this. The video today. I'm go Sorry about that. Let me go back. To another video today. One not Rift Riders tips. Okay, tips and power new power ranking. Oh yeah, and his intro. Sorry, I just moved. His intro is amazing. Let's All see. Right, so oh, the first tip is to use your highest level cars. Okay. 
even if you're really poor in wrenches, you can still use one level 9 car. It could be like a common car even. And that'll get you to instant raise level 9, which will speed up your progression. I see that. Tip number 2, which adds on to tip number 1, is focus on upgrading certain cars for Riders. So maybe you want to use Dragon Monster, Dracula Carriage, Ghost Dragon, that kind of comp. Okay. Uh, yeah, but make sure that those cars are high leveled or else you won't do that well. I understand. Number three is I understand. check a leaderboard yeah. for the Rift Rider meta, I guess. Oh, Rift Don't Rider like meta? like the first person though. They're probably like a hacker. You can probably tell by the score, honestly. Hmm. But like, check like the top 20 to 30-ish. It's okay. at least a decent comp. But yeah, I'd recommend sticking to a single team if you're really low on wrenches. Okay. And maybe you stick to some more um, less rare cars like commons and um, uncommons. Tip number four is to use multiplier. It doesn't have to be 20 times multiplier. It could be like five or two, but okay. you should definitely use it. Because even like an extra two or five saves up a lot of time. And okay, is that so? With like one ticket multiplier, you're gonna get basically nothing. So yeah, you can use 20. But yeah, just don't use one. That's a really bad idea. Two is also not that great. Maybe like five to 20. Okay. Tip number five is my personal preference. And I think I have some like, quote unquote data to back it up. Um, so basically this tip is to use your best cars first and your worst cars last. And okay. Right best cars first, worst cars last. Gameplay, but, yeah, anyways, I used to put the Whoa, worst what? Car okay, I thought that was Thunder. I'm sorry, everybody. That scared me. It's not bad, but okay. It's just, it's just not as good as Dragon Monster and Ghost Dragon. So I put that last, right? Because I thought it'd be better, but I was wrong. Because when I tried out the other combination, when I tried... My best car is first. It actually, um, Rift Riders was actually easier for me. Oh, was it? I don't it? know if that's personal preference or not, but I'd recommend doing that. Um, comment down below what you guys think. Tip number six is to pick good power-ups. Yes, power -up most list, definitely. There are five new power-ups in this update, so why don't we, um, do a tier list on that. In the F tier is the tire hook. I would recommend not using this in Rift Riders at all because... Why? Once you pull up the tires, first of all, Sorry, I could hit your head, and you'll be dead. Second of all, it's oh, is that useful. so? Like, if, if it just takes out one tire out of one opponent out of like the hundreds of opponents that you face, that doesn't seem useful to me at all. It really doesn't. The C tier, skipping D tier, cause yeah, there's no D tier power up in this. Well, just my right I'm sorry, it's all hard deck. And yeah, this one just takes out your health, but it gives you two saws. So yeah, oh. it's only useful if you're low health. And yeah, it has a pretty cool effect as well. I'm not really considering that into the ranking, but okay. yeah, I just like the effect. In the B tier is the Super Collider or like the RAM. Power. Okay, I don't Super really Collider. Know the name of it. But yeah, this could be really useful, especially for cars with like less strength or like maybe like there's a few opponents clumping up together or like just enemies that are hard to push. Like they have a lot of weight, for example, like those like giant brain. Um, giant brain spiders. I that see. Shoot you up in there. The, the yeet spiders, whatever they're called. In the A tier is probably gonna be the mini Medusa or like the jelly shock. Yeah, I can't believe it's, it's called, called actually called mini Medusa. Um, yeah, so in the later games, um, people clump up a lot, right? Uh, you have a bunch of people just clumping up on you. So yeah, this power is really useful for just pushing those opponents away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What can I say? It's really useful. In the S tier, and possibly the best power-up, in okay. my opinion, is the Penguin Assassin. Okay. It's like a better version of the Zapper. What it does is it just kills opponents that are really low. You know when you have those really low opponents, and they're like really annoying, and you want to kill them? Well, Penguin Assassin has you covered. It just delivers like a black smoke, and it just kills the opponent. It's so awesome. Hmm. And yeah, everything about it is really, really cool. Okay. My last tip isn't really a tip, but it's just something that I want to talk about. So, yeah, the gift box is now usable in Rift Riders. It doesn't break Rift Riders at all. Oh, okay. And, yeah, you can use it now, so that's really cool. I don't know if you can use secret cars, but What happened? Could you, could you not I use totally the gift box in Rift Riders before? Is that what you're saying? 
my memory isn't the best sometimes. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully, you okay. guys like this video. Uh, hopefully, it was helpful. It, was helpful. it will Please be like once I start playing again. I think we're pretty close to hitting 9K as well. So yeah, subscribe oh and i'll see nice. you guys later bye let's see if it, what the heck was that i just saw something fly across the screen like do you see that but that's gonna have to do it for this quadruple reaction it's been quite so let's see he has hit 9k indeed well i didn't even know that and do that wow i didn't even know that somebody said that in the comments was that jelly wow okay but that's gonna have to do it. Once again, link will be in the description for Top Indies' channel. I cannot wait to see what Dravid has to update the game for in the future. And I can't wait to see what tips and tricks and more fun footage Top Indies has to offer in the future. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next reaction. So Fico Thunder Reactor signing out. Reactor out.